after tonight, I mean, it, it, we'll see. I mean, uh, Biden supposedly giving a speech tonight at 8 p.m. Um, it could very well be an AI thing. And who would be running this AI? Well, of course, um, Chelsea Clinton. Why Chelsea Clinton? Because her mother is directing her what to do, and uh, Chelsea's probably more adept on the computer at this point uh, that would be running Biden. How do I know this? Well, Tim Poole has uh, shown me the light. The, the Biden campaign has officially filed. It's no longer the Biden campaign. The Biden X account is gone. It is now the Kamala account. Kamala has been endorsed by Joe Biden, by the Clintons, not by Obama. I am not yet convinced, my friends, that Kamala Harris will, in fact, be the nominee. I don't know for sure, but I'm actually leaning towards probably not Kamala Harris. Oh, we goodness. shall see. <laughs> oh, just because second. I just love how like he he and everything he says, he tries to give himself some type of like plausible deniability. I'm actually sort of leaning towards maybe it will be possibly uh, Kamala Harris, although maybe not. But is he trying? So he hedges, right? But like taking the hedges out of it, <clears throat> is he trying to compete with Dave Rubin for who's like more wrong on electoral predictions? Because they're kind of up there in terms of tallies. He said that there would be a 49 state landslide for Donald Trump in 2020. And he's been predicting a civil war for the past, I don't know, seven years or something like that. And it's just, I don't know if his instincts are that good. His instincts aren't that good, but he knows where uh, his money is. And that's in like uh, basically just uh, coming up with some of the most bat crap, uh, crazy conspiracy theories. Here is probably not Kamala Harris. We shall see. Just because she received the nominee, uh, I'm sorry, the endorsement, not the nomination, does not mean she will be the nominee. Some are speculating that Hillary Clinton will swoop oh. in, pick up the nomination and say, I am willing to step up at this moment. And the only thing we need fear at this point, based on polling, is, well, a shadow campaign. We have what? no idea what is at store for us, but I can tell you this. I believe it is the only logical he has explanation. It for one second. And the what does a shadow campaign mean? He, I don't think he knows what the word shadow campaign means. What does that mean, a shadow campaign? A scary campaign. Well, what does he... Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know what... A secret a, thing. A secret campaign? Mm -hmm. But what's the secret campaign? Well, it's, uh, this, uh, I don't we know it's there. Which, okay. I don't think shadow campaign is what he thinks it is. We'll figure out the content of the shadow campaign later, and it's enough to know that it exists now. Go ahead. Yes. I believe it is the only logical explanation, and the most logical explanation, that Democrats <laughs> pulled off this stunt, this scheme to block RFK Jr. from being ah. the Democrat nominee. Oh my he God! Was, course, Pause it. They block. We just—I hadn't seen this clip before. We just played Dave Rubin saying the same thing. The Dave Rubin Tim Pool mind meld is yeah. is upon us. It's, as it's one, real. there cannot be one. As Dave recedes into kind of like irrelevancy, Tim ascends to be the dumbest person in right wing media. Like that is. It's honestly beautiful. All right, keep going. <laughs> a junior from being the Democrat nominee. He was, of course, running. They blocked him out. They said, no, you can't. And so here we are. They, the only people who are running are. against Joe Biden were, I mean, what? Uh, who Dean Phillips? Not, I mean, RFK and Jr. wanted RFK, it, but they said, no, it's Joe Biden. End of story. Like, I don't like, you know, this is just like, you can check this. RFK was running in the Democratic primary. Marianne Williamson and Dean Phillips were running in the Democratic primary. RFK could have stayed in the Democratic primary, but he kept going on shows like Tim Pool and realized at one point, like, oh, Democrats don't want to vote for me. I'm yeah. going to run as an independent. Go ahead. Well, if RFK Jr. was going to run, he had to run as an independent. So he did. He declared his independence. Yeah. Ha ha. Very clever. <laughs> and then, well, he ended up running. Who are you talking to? What happens then? <laughs> As we all predicted oh so heavily, Joe Biden dropped out way late in the game, passed the deadline for several states. Not so true. so what are these states going to have on their ballots? They're, the Democrats in those states are going to pull strings and make special provisions so they can change the name on the ballot. 
This That's is nice. okay. Can you pause it? We would like to fact check this. Okay, this is uh, ballot. There's no or... names on any ballots. No, no, there's no deadline no. that's passed. Okay, so Trump picked JD Vance uh, officially on Wednesday, so a week from today when we're recording this. Uh, Biden dropped out on Sunday. So were all the ballots all printed in those four days and you can't change them? Because Vance would have had to be on the ballot, and also Trump would have had to be officially the nominee. That's what the RNC is for. You're, 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 uh, you become the nominee at the convention. The Democrats have not even had their virtual convention, nor have they had the real convention. You or there I is no nominee. are as like even now, legally no nominee. even now, right now, you or I are legally the, as much the Democratic nominee as Kamala Harris and or Joe Biden. So this is a lie. Um, and it was meant to scare Biden into staying on the ticket. But I think like lawyers at the DNC crunched the numbers and realized like, no, this is not a real thing. So anyway. So they can change the name on the ballot. This is a component of the shadow campaign. <laughs> what the, he doesn't we'll know talk what about all of this, my friends. Means. Welcome to another special live. That's he it. doesn't know what shadow campaign means. This is a component of the shadow campaign. Hey, so we all remember the Supreme Court's ruling on Trump's presidential immunity case. Well, get this. The leader of the Heritage Foundation think tank has said the second American Revolution will be bloodless if the left allows it to be. All sparked by the Supreme Court ruling on presidential immunity. Well, Ground News found nearly 50 sources reporting on it with zero coverage coming from the right. Why? Well, going through these articles, you can see most of them tie this project to Trump. Like this report from the DCCC writing Trump's so-called Project 2025 manifesto advocates for a nationwide abortion ban, quote, silencing his political enemies and more. With presidential elections not too far away, this is an extremely important story and you wouldn't know about it unless you intentionally diversify where you get your news from, which is why Ground News created their blind spot feed. It's to surface major stories with little reporting coming from either the right or the left. Our longtime sponsor really simplifies empowering yourself with knowledge so we're fully aware where our information is coming from and how that influences our reporting or lack thereof. An important mission under our current political climate. Best of all, they're offering my viewers 40% off the same unlimited access vantage plan that gets me access to all their features. So head to ground.news slash majority or scan my QR code to help support an independent news platform working towards a more transparent media landscape. 